Let's look at a question for cash budget. Yeah, cash budget. Cash budget for three months. Three months. I think we have read through this question. We just read again. The following information relates to Zuma Enterprises Limited for the months given below. So we have September, October, November, and December. We have been given the sales. All sales will be on credit, meaning we are selling on credit. Half of the debtors are expected to pay within the month of sale, half of them. So when you sell in October or when you sell in September, half of them will pay within the month. And within the month of sale, and are also expected to claim a 2% cash discount. Those that are paying within the month, they will claim a 2% cash discount. The remaining debtors are expected to pay by the beginning of the following month so the beginning of the following months the remaining will pay then you've been given the raw material the purchases that you're making september october november and december the firm plans to pay its creditors in full in the month following that of purchase so if we purchase in september we shall pay in full in the following month and that is on october then wages and salaries have been given there the wages for september october november and december additional all employees are paid in the month in which the wages or salary is earned. Rent of 10 million for each quarter is paid in March, June, September, and December. Other cash expenses of 2 million per month are payable. A new plant due for delivery in September will be paid in November at a cost of 25 million. On October, the firm plans to have 10 million in the bank, so a cash budget for the three months. So, you know, the cash budget we normally starts with the receipts. Our receipts, receipts, and under the receipts, we can have the balance. Balance brought down, and uh, we are dealing with them in shillings in a million, shillings in million, shillings in million, shillings in million, shillings in million. Million shillings in million shillings in million that way. So we are starting with ten million as our opening balance, then cash from debtors, cash sales. Yeah, so receipt from debtors. We have cash, you can separate it, eh? cash sales, and receipt from debtors. Receipt from debtors. Yeah, that way. So we have the cash sales and receipts from debtors. So for the cash sales, eh, we are told eh, half of the half. Half of the debtors are expected to pay within the month of sale. Within the month of sale. So we can have our sales and our purchases. Uh, sales and purchases. Just a minute. And just have uh, a column here for sales and purchases. Let me do it here. So we have sales and we have our purchases. Purchases. So we have September, October, then November, and we have December. So it will be easier if I capture it here. You'll we'll find that for the sales we have 60, 60, 70, 90. 60, 60, 60, 60, 70. And 90 and for purchases for purchases we are having 20 40 40 30 20 40 40 30 so that you're told half of uh, the sales will be paid so the half of uh, the one that we're selling in uh, October half of these uh, so this will be is equals to this value by half 
0.5 now reason by 0.5 and by 95 percent 95 percent so you told they will uh, qualify for a discount they will claim a discount of two percent so you shall multiply it by 98 98 percent or 0.98 so this one is by 0 0.5 0 0.5 that is half by 98 and i will enter that that's what we shall receive and uh, the other half for the previous month the previous month we had 60 we just multiply by 0 0.5 that half is what we shall be able to receive we shall have our total total receipts total receipts and equals to get the sum of that and I'll bold that is my total receipt and I'll go to expenses that we are incurring so you can first finish on visa the next month will be so that was for the first month october so for november here first we shall get the one for november half of it so you multiply by 0.5 and you multiply by point nine eight because we claim a discount we have to claim a discount of two percent so that is what we shall have and for december we shall have 90 we multiply by 0 0.5 we multiply by 0 0.98 that way then the receipts from debtors here we shall take debtors of uh, october half of it by 0 0.5 and uh, here half of uh, the one for November by 0 0.5 that way and uh, we first deal with the expenses and our expenses uh, we are told that the purchases uh, the firm plans to pay its creditors in full in the month following the month of purchase so these are raw material purchases so the one for September shall pay in October. So purchases. Let's go back. Yeah. Now purchase. Purchases of raw material. Raw material. Material. Purchases of raw material. And under the purchase of raw material the first one so for here we shall have 20 because we are paying one month after and uh, this one will be 40 and this one will be 40 again the one for october is the one that we shall pay in uh, december the other thing we are paying is uh, the salaries uh, all employees are paid in the month in, in which the wages of salaries and so october is 15 wages and salaries wages and salaries salaries so here is 15 and uh, the next one uh, so this is 15 15 the next one is uh, 15 17 and 13 17 and that in that in that way. the next thing we are told is rent of 10 million for each quarter is paid in march june september and december so because you are starting from october so we shall just deal with the rent for december yeah for 10 million rent yeah we shall have rent of 10 million in December 
10 million 10 million in December then the next thing other cash overheads uh, of 2 million per month uh, are payable 2 million overheads In overheads of 2 million per month so 2 million per month and I'll drag this uh, because that's a constant that we are having a new plant is due for delivery in September will be paid in November at a cost of 25 million uh, so purchase of plant yeah plant purchased plant purchased we shall pay it in November 25 million in November and uh, the next thing we are told that on October the farm plans to have 10 million this one already we have dealt with it and that's all that we have we to get the total total expenses expenses we have the balance carried down have the balance balance carried down the cash balance so here she'll use alt equals i'll adjust this up to that i enter i'll drag this that way and i'll bold this one I'll bold this I'll bold this so here we shall take the balance which will be equal to this minus this and I enter that way and that will be our opening balance the opening balance opening balance is that one I enter articles I enter I bold this and uh, to get this shall take this value minus uh, this value we enter it will be the opening balance here I enter then here articles I enter I bold this control bold then this one I'll control and bold it. Uh. Control bold. So this will be equals this value and I minus uh, the total expense and I enter. So total expense I'll bold that. So I can put top border in this case and uh, also bottom border the same thing here I put bottom and I put top border that way and this one I put bottom border yeah so that is our cash book three column not three column but our cash budget for a period of uh, three months cash budget for a period of three months that we have uh, prepared is a question on business data analysis